Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Silence of the Lambs inspired makeup look. As you can tell, I've done my face makeup off camera and I'll just have all the products I used on the screen right now as we speak. It brings me so much joy to be able to replicate the Death's Head moth on my face just as it is on the Silence of the Lambs movie poster. just going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette in the shade Subtle, which I have found to be the most perfect contour shade for my skin tone. Just going in and contouring my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. Then I'm going in with the Morphe X Jeffree Star Morphe Palette in the shade Fast Lane, and you know I'm about to do my eyebrows. If you want to know the nitty gritty about how I do my eyebrows, I have a tutorial specifically for that purpose. It is on my channel. The link will be in the description and there will also be a card on the right hand corner of this video. Then, of course, I'm just going with the concealer to clean up underneath my brows. I use my finger, but I can also use a brush like this to blend out the concealer. Then diving into the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette again and using the shade Welcome as our brow bone highlight. Also, I'm really sorry that the white balance on my camera is being completely thrown off because of my highlight. <laughs> it does settle down eventually. I did try to fix it, but it didn't really change. Then I'm just using that same shade to go over the highlight that I did with the liquid frost. Then using the shade Black Rainbow from the Beauty Killer palette as a base for my eyes. Just going in the crease, a bit on the lid, a bit on the inner corner and the outer corner. So basically everywhere. Then we're just going in with the shade Vroom Vroom to blend out the black. Then we're going to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette in the shade Fresh Meat. And we're just going all around the edges of the black. I also went down my nose a little bit and up into my eyebrow. Then I went in with some more black and just tidied up the black on my eyelid and under eye. Then using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette with the shade Divine and a freshly leaked liner brush, I'm going to use that shade to do an eyeliner sort of uh, graphic shape on my eyelid. And I know licking brushes is gross, but I mean I'm doing it on my own face, I would never lick my eyeshadow brushes and use them on someone else's face. Then I'm just using a nude lipstick to start the drawing of the death's head moth on my face. Whenever you want to do like graphic designs and drawings or whatever on your face, 
I recommend using a light lipstick color or a light eyeshadow color to just kind of map out what you want to do. Don't just go straight in because you might ruin it and then say if you've covered your face with like a deep blue or a black it would be so hard to wipe off or cover. Then once I was happy with the shape that I drew I go over it with black. And also colour in its little legs and its antennas. Then using these three shades from the Equality Bundle, I start off with Queen Bee as the first initial shade that I lay down in both of the wings. The bottom two wings of the Death's Head Moth are more yellow than the top wings, but there are some yellow specks in the top two wings. And there's also a little bit of yellow in the body of the moth. Then I'm just going in with the shade Flamethrower and we're just darkening some of that yellow in the top two wings, but making sure to leave some yellow as the highest point of the colour. And I also put a little bit in the body of the moth as well. Then putting a little bit of red rum just to darken it even further. Then of course we go in with some classic black eyeshadow just to fill in the gaps. Now this is where the Death's Head Moth is finally coming together. I'm doing some final details on the bottom two wings, a little bit of shading, a little bit of patterning and spots and lines here and there. Then doing the actual skull in the middle of the moth with the liquid lip shade Drug Lord. how it looks so far. I do end up going over it with some eyeshadow just to brighten it all and also set the lipsticks. So with the yellow I just went over it with Quench from the Thirsty palette. Then just going in with the orange shade Suck from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette to set all the orange parts of the moth. And then I'll be going in with the shade Licorice from the same palette to do the same thing. Then I just went in with a bit more of that yellow lipstick to kind of revamp some of the yellow shades that were in the wings. Then I went in with the shade Jawbreaker from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Jawbreaker palette to do some more highlight. You can never have enough highlight.
And this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it. Leave a like, comment below, subscribe if you want to, and share with your friends. Check out my Patreon, my TikTok, my Instagram. All the links will be in the description. It supports everything that I do. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.